run it again All right, now we're actually going to uh, add another button here, just as another feature of the log dog, saying like, list all books in library. Now, you know, because remember that remember that method that we created in our library, list all books in library. Well, you know, we're never going to use that inside our browse library because we're going to be using tables from now on but let's add that in as an extra feature here I mean why not right let's just add that in as an extra feature so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our addbook panel.java and we're just going to create another button we're going to call it button list all books and again instantiate these books this uh, this button in our init widgets uh, where did I put the buttons new button here equals new j button list all books in this list all books and then we go to our add add widgets method where are we gonna add that we're gonna add that actually before in the same horizontal box as our uh, as these guys over here and we're probably gonna delete this horizontal strut for now Or actually just replace this horizontal strut with the button that we're going to add button uh, uh, list all books now let's see what it looks like looks like this for now so we want to add a horizontal strut in between these two buttons maybe like length 20 let's try length 20 let's just copy this in between these two buttons and maybe length 20 and there we go all right, and again we need to uh, go down to our add action listener and see this is the perks of uh, keeping an organized class especially with GUI you know you just keep going down the list and if you're gonna add something delete something you just say okay well I'm gonna go to my variable declaration whatever I need to change there I'm gonna go to my init widgets whatever I need to change there then I'm gonna go to my add widgets you know whatever I need to change there then I'm gonna go to my add action listener and we need to add the action listener for that so button list all books dot add action listener a I'm gonna go down again and we need a getter for that public J button get button list all books and then we need to we need to go back to our uh, cross this out go back to library system and go to our action perform if else stuff and we're gonna insert this I mean you can insert this wherever you want just, be, just before the else anywhere you want but I'm gonna keep it organized 
So I put it before the save. So we're going to copy this and paste it before the save button. Control Shift F and then change this to dot get button list all books. What we're going to do is just list all books in library. Create the method for this. And let's go back to our library uh, model class. Let's see what that function. Uh, ah, it's called the two string. So we just need to call the two string method. Right. Okay. And um, really, this is just one line of code. But I just want to do this just to, you know, keep everything the, the convention the same. There's a method name there. You go to this method lib dot two string but that's not it we're gonna put it inside our inside our log dog so abp dot get text area log dot append this string and I don't know, maybe uh, first add a new line to this. Now let's check out our program, our application. Run it. 